already? Is there anyone home? Oh! Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't hear anyone inside. Bless, I'm so sorry. I was just, um, writing in my diary. Can I help? Oh, uh, uh, we've, we've, we've corresponded via telegram a few times. My name's Saffron Mitchell. Oh, hello, Saffron. Yes, how are you? Oh, yeah, I'm grand. I just, uh, I thought I'd swing by and see if you're home since I got telegram from you. Yes, 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 fantastic. Um, just bear with me. Please, please step off the steps. I need to make sure that oh. you're safe to come in. Oh, uh, s safe to come in? Yes, um, well, you see, it's just, there's, there's quite a lot of electrical equipment in here, and static electricity can damage it and damage you, so let me just, um, let me just come out there and give you a quick scan. Uh, uh all right. Hang on. <laughs> it is Dr. Okay. Dr. E. Brown. Looking <laughs> quite minimal. Uh. Let me just... Okay, yep, I think, uh... I think you're clear. Oh. Did you notice the rain on the way in? Aye, I, I did. It was quite, quite uh, wet as I came in. I. Yes. That was my doing. You're doing? Yes, I think so. I believe so. I've been working on this device. This device in my hands does many things. And you see, if I, um... If I collect enough static discharge within this device and I... I, I, I a gesture to the skies in a certain way, I'm, I'm pretty sure I can, I can bring... Bring down the rains. Hmm. Would you like so, to see how I do it? I mean, sure, why not? You could okay. see if you can bring the rain back. Yes. Well, it seems to be going over. Let me see if I can bring it back a little bit. <laughs> see, it's quite the art. It's just I'd take a step back if I were you. Oh, uh, all right. Don't want to get harmed by uh, the device. <laughs> Do the sounds have any application towards uh, bringing the rain down as well? The sounds you're making? Ah, uh, no, that's just um. <laughs> I don't know. That's just where I go. <laughs> just bear with me. Okay. I, I, listen, I, I think um, I think what's probably happened there is that the um, the clouds are probably all a little bit rained out. Well, I mean, uh, well then, I mean, wouldn't. If, 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 well, I mean, if you're saying that you can make it rain, you know, wouldn't oh, you no, be no, able no, to... Oh, no, 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 I don't... It's not that I make it rain, I just entice the rain that is in the clouds to come out, but if there's no rain in the clouds, then it's, um... Well, how do you... It's... What's your control on that? How do you measure whether or not you've actually caused the rain, or... Were... I mean, how do you know that the rain wasn't just coincidental or going to happen anyways because of atmospheric conditions? Well, that's science. That's what I'm working on. This is this is a prototype device. This is this could do many things. If um, if I can make it happen a couple more times, and then I can start to measure the differences between those times, and whether it was a time of day, or whether it was a type of cloud, whether it was cumulonimbus, or one of the other ones that I've forgotten. Uh huh. All right. Well, uh, is that the anyway, only thing that you're working on up here? No, no, no. Anyway, you're safe to come in. So if you'd like oh, to sure. uh, head on in. Here, let me uh, leave my coat and hat at the cart. Yes. Okay. All right. So this is the uh, this is the lab. Oh, we should I shut the doors here. It's a it's quite exciting place. It looks like you've done a lot to clean it up. Yes, I have. Um, the uh, the concern is that, um, well, just before you arrived, actually, I was here with. Hang on, that door. I need to shut that door. Honestly.
okay. <laughs> I'm so sorry. That's quite all right. Anyway, um, yes, there was a gentleman named um, Allison or something. Was up here only recently and threatening that I'd supposedly stolen items from the railroad. Uh, I mean, did you? No. No, I did try to stress that any, th any items that they were using currently in their technologies on the railroads would not be sufficient for what I'm doing up here. Right, so you wouldn't have a, a shopping list that included the line steel railway, railway ties, especially rusty ones? No. No, there was a shopping list that said steel railroad tracks, not ties. Or tracks, either way, something like that. Yes. Yes, no, but that wasn't for anything in here. Oh. What would you do with something like that anyways? I don't know. Get the rust off them. See if I have the uh, the ability to use electrolysis to de-rust the tracks. Uh -huh. You see. All right. Uh huh. You see, there's no, there's no way to just, you know, you can't walk up to these people and say, hey, can I have some of your old stuff? Because... I mean, you could. Well, Did you try? No. Because then if you, um, if you do that, then... They want money. If they if they if they realize that you've got something they they that you want, then that's it. You got to pay. I don't want to pay. I can't afford to pay. So I go along. I find not 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 anything that anybody's using. You know, just maybe maybe there's a couple of railroad tracks that they've replaced with new pieces, and they've just chucked the old ones by the side of the, uh, mm -hmm. the railroad, which they seem to do all the time. Mm -hmm. And then you know, but that's not for anything here. There's, they 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 came here to have a look at this. But um, if anything, it would be helping them. If I can work out a way to use electrolysis, uh, <laughs> if I can find out a way to use electrolysis to take off the rust from those those tracks, I can take off rust from any metal. Not only would it help the railroad, it would help everybody. I suppose you're right there. Uh, it does look like. Do you have several different projects that you're working on in here? Yes. Well, um. You see, it's all kind of based around electricity at the moment because I really mm -hmm. do think that electricity is the future. Well, I mean, have you seen Saint Denis? It's all that. I have, yes, yes, Quite exactly. Nice. And many, many other countries are, are doing a lot more with electricity than than we're doing over here. Well, so like, I'd like, like to. What? Well, there are all sorts of applications. I don't know why we're stopping at lighting. You see, this over here. Ah, oh, yeah, so that is 1.21 gigawatts a lot. Uh, 1.21 gigawatts is absolutely massive. The only thing that is currently able to generate that kind of electricity is a lightning storm. And that's why I have the big device out the back. Oh, so are you able, have you been able to, to use that to power things then? Yes, the only problem is that it's very instant and it, uh, very unpredictable. Hmm. You see this here? This right here? Yes. Don't get too close. It's dark out. I don't know if there's going to be a strike. Not really oh. any static electricity at the moment, but if you get a little bit too close, it can be quite dangerous. Why is the note here talk about uh, a flying machine? All right, yes, sometimes I just, I, you know, they, they come to me and I have to write them down somewhere. And if I'm working <laughs> on a certain piece of electricity or, or sorry, a, a certain piece of equipment, then that's just where the note gets placed. Interesting. So I've I've heard from a few different people that you've been looking for for volunteers for certain work up here. Yes. Whoa! Oh, I just got a, lights just went on. Right. Yes, it's good, isn't it? Aye, it's very nice. You see, they only come on at a certain time, rather than using them all the time or having switches. Aye, very smart. You've gotten some sort of timer, like those fancy time safes, huh? Yes. Exactly. Oh, time safe. So uh, the old technology. That's um, yeah. This is this is much more. There's a there's a sensor that picks up when it gets dark. You see, but it's all based off different times. Currently, I'm working, like I said, in my telegrams, working on a different time zone to see the effects of jet lag on my work. Mm -hmm. I you did mention that. What? Uh, I, sorry, I don't think I finished asking questions. What sort of work are you looking for volunteers for? Well, it's a myriad of experiments. I need people to um. Help me with the uh, the coil out the back when there's lightning storms. But that requires somebody that's not afraid of heights and um, isn't afraid of getting their hands dirty. 
And then... Well, the other ones are a little bit more interesting, a little bit more social. But the problem is I can't tell you too much about them, just in case... Well, you know, you take part. If you take part, I can't tell you what the experiments are, because then you might corrupt the experiments. You see what I mean? Uh, not quite, but I would hope that, you know, if I could at least say whether or not the experiments are fairly safe or not, you know? Oh, yes, yes, yes. No, these, these, the, 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 the experiments involving people would normally be multiple people, and they're mostly psychological experiments to see whether they're, um, well, I can't tell you that part, but it's, there's no danger. There's no, there's no electricity involved in those. Hmm. All right. Well, that sounds very interesting, something like that, uh. So you so you'd bring a group up here, or would you meet with them somewhere else and then uh, present a scenario and and see how uh, they respond to it? Yes, yes. Well, quite both. Um, it'd be good to get people up here to help me with the um, well, the uh, the the electricity based things, and I could I could use a couple of people for a couple of things I'm cooking up. Um, but otherwise, yes, I could come to people and you know, if, if for example, if you know somebody that you know very well, you've known for years. Then, um, I'm afraid I haven't known anyone for years here in the state. All right. What about weeks? I mean, perhaps I. Okay. Yes. Well, weeks weeks could work as long as you've um, spent a lot. If you've got colleagues or people that you. Sorry. You know, what's what's this for specifically? This is for the um. This is for the more social experiments. All right. Well, I was gonna I was gonna suggest to you that you know you could put a you could put a, a notice or a, an advertisement in the paper. Asking for people who are willing to participate, and uh, oh right, yes, you know, the papers. entire the entire cross would see it. I could, uh, I'm actually, I work for the paper, so I could actually write up an advertisement for you. You work for the paper. Mm-hmm. Right. And um, how much of this has been on the record? I mean, I'm always learning and seeing what people are up to. I think that. People might be very interested in the sort of work that you're doing up here. But I've got nothing uh, that is on the pipeline yet. <laughs> right. That, that tone change. Okay, note to self. Hmm. Okay, well, um, yes, yes. If you, if you happen to know any colleagues that... Um, you know, you, you've worked with for a while. Then that'd be excellent. That's the kind of thing I'm looking for. Are you not wanting your um, your work to be heard about by the people of the Crossing? I'm just curious. No, no, I am. It's just um, the problem is is that everybody either thinks I'm crazy or that I'm out of time. Out of time? Yes. What do you mean by that? Well, people seem to think that the things I'm looking to do are, are not necessary for, for how we live currently. In, in society, and that the things I'm doing are unnecessary. Tail lights, for example. You've heard of tail lights, my new invention. Uh, tail lights. Yes. So currently, everyone rides around on their horses with 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 lights on the front, mm -hmm. headlights, so to speak. Aye, there's but some about... carts down in San Denis that are powered by the wheels. I think. Yes. So now imagine if those had tail lights as well as front lights, and that way you could see when they were decelerating. Wouldn't that blame the people behind you? No. No, the front lights don't blind people, do they? I mean... They can. Well... They wouldn't be, um... They wouldn't be of such a luminosity, but the problem is power. So, I want to work on, on, on electricity and, and making electricity more of our daily lives, but... Nobody seems interested. Everybody's interested in steam. There's too much money in steam. But steam is big and heavy and slow. It requires lots of burning of wood and coal and other nasty things. Wasn't well, isn't electricity dangerous as well though? It can it can shock you and you can die. I mean they've got they've got a chair down there in San Denis. Have you seen that? Yes, but steam can burn you and peel your skin off, and fire can burn you and peel your skin off. So it's only the same. Hey, I suppose I just I feel like from what I understand most cases you can't see electricity you know you can see fire and stuff like that you know where the steam is but that's a wee bit more confusing with something like electricity isn't it yes i suppose but that's why i'm here to normalize it and make it a little bit more you know interesting look i mean you can see electricity right here that is electricity 
My, but it doesn't look like that most of the time, eh? You're doing something special to it. Yes, it's currently being pumped through neon gas. Huh. That's what this light is here. That's very interesting. Yes. This produces much more light than heat. You see everyone's still using candles and oil and burning things, which just produces more heat and it's wasting. Everything in here is powered by electricity. Except for the bits that are powered by steam. But if you want to report on what I'm doing, that's absolutely fine. As long as it doesn't get twisted, I'd like to know what you're saying. Oh, no. Well, that was like what I was about to say. I mean, if you if you don't want people to think that you're crazy, I mean, we could always talk about the sort of things you're, that you're working on and try and present a interested and exciting view. Show show the crossing, uh, show the crossing what you're seeing and help people get excited about the sort of things that you're excited about. I'm not looking to do something to make someone look bad, you know? Right, okay, yes. Well, I am, um, you know, I, I, I hear journalist and then you were asking me about the list and then the chap came to threaten me about the list and that's all, you know, put two and two together. Oh, n sorry, no, I wasn't threat. I wasn't here to threaten anyone. I was just no, 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 not you. I, the, um, I came in and I saw the notes and stuff before. The so. other chap. That's been a wee bit of a mystery, you know? Yes, no, understandably, I mean, um... You know, there's a, there's, there's a lot going on. There's a lot there's a lot going on in my mind, and I can't get it all out. I have to write it down on paper, but I don't expect... Um, I forget that uh, I can't lock the doors yet. I'm working on a time lock for that. Mm. But, um, yes, I, I'd, be, I'd be interested in, in, in speaking to you further about what I'm doing and what I'm planning, um, as, long as, as long as it doesn't cause me any unnecessary grief. Oh, no, it shouldn't. I mean, why would it? You're not doing anything illegal up here, eh? <laughs> I think it depends on um, your definition of illegal. Uh, I mean, it's usually something that's against the law. I don't think so. I, d I don't know any laws about um, the stuff I'm doing, to be honest, but um, that's only because the stuff I'm doing has never been done. Maybe in the future they'll, um, they'll stop you from having too much electricity or I don't think I don't think that's I'm, I'm sure that's not a problem you know I'm no. just meaning stuff that's you know criminal enterprises and stuff like that it doesn't look oh like yes no, you're doing no, here, no. no no I don't um, even have a gun well, I would be I would be interested in helping you share about what you're doing um I think that might be good though to either participate in or um view some of your exper experiments or something like that you know first time yes 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 like well maybe um, one of those psychological tasks or something like that um i don't know i mean we could put out an an advertisement you know yes it'd be good to um maybe get a few people on board and then um maybe you could sort of you know shadow the whole thing and you could write about it and mm -hmm. you could you could say you could say what you learned and what other people could learn if they if they just pay a little bit more attention to the skies to the skies there's so much mm -hmm. there's so much power up there yes you think you think that we uh, we mine the natural resources of this planet? Imagine what there is out there in others and the stars. That's the goal. There's a great expanse out there. Well, you certainly have big ideas, and that sounds very exciting. Yes, yes, it's not just exciting; it's terrifying. The fact that there could be more than what we are. I suppose so, but uh, I mean, the whole world's sort of more than what we are, isn't it? It's very large. There's places we haven't discovered and found yet. Yes. And the last thing I want is for us to, um, you know, just ruin it. You already see the smog in Saint Denis from coal. A dirty, dirty substance. What if we could get away from coal? <laughs> this, this is the key. Oh huh. God! What? Um. Nothing. It's fine. Are you sure? You seem yes, concerned I think about so. something. Yes, just maybe. Um, maybe just don't step too close towards the ball underneath. The, the above. Oh, all right. Yes. Um, let me just check the clouds. I really need a sky that I can a skylight of sorts. Ah, uh, there's a skylight right here. But it's, uh... No, we're okay. Hi. Sorry to alarm you. It's um. 
Well, see, you've got skylights right here. Yes, but they don't, um... They don't really cover what I need to see. You see, if a cloud was directly over this part, or directly over this... Then things could, uh... Well, you see some serious shit. Do you want to go up? <laughs> uh, uh, sure. Can you tell me a, a wee bit more about the tower? Yes. Set up. That's not the way. Oh, well, I, uh... <laughs> you know, I was actually up here during a lightning storm uh, a few months ago. What, of the tower? Uh, I was not on the tower, but there was a fellow who was, and uh, he got shocked, and he fell down to the bottom here, and he had an accent, a strong accent, and he lost it. What? Mm -hmm. He lost it because he got shocked, and then later, I think he fell off his horse or something like that. I can't, I can't even remember exactly what he did, but he got his accent back. What? Who was this person? Uh, I think his name was Stone or something like that, but I also think that he's Stone. Since passed away. I. Oh. Due to the uh, the shock of the. No, I I can't even remember why he did, but uh, I. It was sometime after the incident, sir. Right, okay. Uh, did they have any next of kin? Was there any other witnesses, or was it just you? Uh, I know that there was lots more witnesses, but I, I can't say who they might have been. Uh, it was a lot of people. I think it was a Halloween sort of party or tour. A Halloween but, party? A uh, Halloween tour. Here? Aye. Mm -hmm. Right. Well, I'm glad they... um didn't end up killed from this. It's quite safe to be up here right now. Let me just check. So you see? Mm -hmm. These dials here will um, indicate when there's any static electricity collecting above this point. This high point higher than most of the trees around here. And being metal is a huge static magnet for electricity. Oops. And when it's all bubbling away, I can pull these dials and send a huge bolt of electricity all the way down into the uh, into the laboratory. Into the labor in in into the laboratory. Yes. Huh. And uh, what what is that? What's the application for doing that? Well, it's more electricity than we can generate anywhere nearby. No other place nearby can generate as much electricity as this one point. I am sure. I was just curious if you had a particular purpose for it that you were using it, or if you had a um, if you had a vision in mind for what you wanted to try and use it for. Yes. Well, the first things first is to replace these railways. How's that? You see, again, dirty steam. What if we could make sure that instead of um powering the engines by steam we powered the rails with electricity the same technology to, that I would use to use electrolysis on the uh, the, the, the what are they called? The rails oh, Maybe like the um, the trolleys down in saint -Denis. Yes, yes, like that but not in not in the um, they have the um, the cables above, right? Aye, I think so Yes, well the rail itself all the way around and then eventually, no rails. That's the future. Where we're going, we don't need railroads. Everyone will have their own electric vehicle. <laughs> Where we're going, we don't need roads. Interesting. Okay. Well, uh... Oh my god, I think a wolf is nearby. Cashew! Come here! Go get Do the Do you have kitchen. a weapon? I only have a knife. Well, I think that we're probably safe from wolves up here on account of they can't really claim ladders. Well, you don't know about that. The cougars around here are highly trained. Aye, but they don't bark and growl, eh? No, true. Highly trained cougars. Yes. Highly trained. Have you yes, been well, trained in cougars up here? Well, not so much training more than um, enticing to stick around but not attack me. Didn't go so well at first. I did have to kick one to death. <laughs> 
You did what to Kyogre to death? I mean, you it attacked me. No, yes. I you, but... Oh, oh, I've just never heard of anyone accomplishing something like that. Usually you'd get shredded. I know. I, I was told I was the second only person that had done it. No, somebody said they'd done it to a wolf, but nobody had ever done it to a cougar. Well, I, I strolled into town with a cougar over my shoulder, and I said, I've just kicked this to death, and everyone was very impressed. I well, I'd say that I am a wee bit impressed there. Thank you. I don't like taking the life of a uh, a helpless being if I can help it, but it wasn't so helpless. It was after oh, me. Oh, I was going to say they are certainly not helpless. <laughs> it's lucky I didn't damage any of my equipment when I threw it into it. Oh, aye, that it got inside the lab. Oh yes, yes, it was inside. Uh, I really do not like those creatures. You know, I've seen them inside the um, you know, the coal the coal armature that building that goes out across the tracks down in Ansberg. No. You've never been down in Ansberg? Oh, yes, but um, I haven't spent much time. Oh, well, there's a large building that goes across the entire tracks. I've seen cougars right. get up inside that. What's in there? Uh, I think it's a large coal processing facility. Interesting. I think they sort, I think they sort the coal and stuff like that. Do you know if there's Bring any steam? Uh... I didn't can how they're how they're running all the equipment, but there's lots of conveyor belts and and all sorts of stuff. You've never seen it. No, no. I like I said, I only spent a very fleeting amount of time. You might want to take a look. They've got some pretty impressive equi equipment there. I mean, they've got a lot of towers and a lot of gears and stuff. I'm not. I I I'm not sure how they're powering it though. It might be steam. Mm, interesting. It'd be good to see. I'm trying. You see, I'm trying to. Um... Even though I haven't necessarily harnessed the, uh, the technology yet, if I do, I can sell it to big business. Hmm, Who's, I, this? Who's this? Who's this? Is someone showing up? Oh, I think it's just someone riding by. Oh yes, it seemed like they stopped at the front gates. Did you bring a cart? I did. All oh, right. I didn't want to have to worry about cougars, and I knew that they tend to scare them off. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Right, I'll have to work on that. I don't like ladders. All right. No, no, you'll be quite all right. <gasps> Are you... Oh, no. Okay, um... <laughs> Alright, let me have a look at you. <laughs> I'm conscious. Alright, we'd probably best get you to... This thing's groaning. Get you to a doctor. Great Scott! <laughs> oh, okay. Let's go around this way. Oh, it's funny how you're telling me that I'd be alright and then you had the trouble. Oh. Duck, you're a lot heavier than you look, you know that? Oh! Now there's a storm brain. Probably just as well that we got out of the tower. We're gonna have to take your horse. Love after recovering. Alright, let's hope there aren't more cougars out here. This snake looks horrible. <laughs> I can't believe he died. I mean, he fell off the, the waterfall. It's so funny. Not the waterfall, the tower. 
Yeah, that's a snake. It's, uh, it's T-posing, essentially. Alright, we're gonna try and avoid wild wildlife and go straight down the tracks to Annisburg. Are you uh. alright? Oh. What if I took... <laughs> He's gonna have an epiphany. Jaws. <laughs> Tubes. Store it. Uh, jars and tapes? Laden. <laughs> On the precipice of the magnificent. Jigawats. Jigawats! <laughs> Capacitor. Are you right, Doc? Where am I? Uh, we're in Annisburg right now. Are you... I was gonna get you down to a doctor, but might not be until Rhodes. <laughs> I'll see what made you try and get you up here. Doc? Whatever. Wait, it's Works. Well, I don't want you... Do you think... I mean, I looked you over, I didn't see anything, but you think you might be terribly injured? Just a big bump on my head, I think. Alright, let's, uh, let's see what we can do then. Ah. <sighs> What happened? Uh, you, you, you slept when you were coming down the ladder. Oh. I'm not quite sure what that sound was. Uh. What if the harness flatulence? Replace steam. I don't think that's one of your more brilliant ideas, in all honesty. Right, me let thing. me take a look at the bump on your head. Oh. oh my god. How are you feeling? Are you feeling nauseous or anything like that? Oh yes, very sick. Oh dear. Alright, well you might have a concussion if that's the case. In that case we probably need to get you down to see a real doctor. I'll uh, take a look under those goggles here in a moment and see if, uh, see if your eyes are responding right to the light. Shield. Eyes from light. Are your eyes dispersal? Huh? <laughs> Disconnect. <laughs> Capacitor. Capacitor. <laughs> oh boy. Okay. Well. I don't see any reason why you shouldn't be able to set up, or are you feeling like you can? Yes, let's give it a go. Alright, here, just uh, take my hand. Oh. 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 Oh my. Alright, here, look at me. Can you take your goggles off for a second? Shield eyes from light. Uh, well, no, I'm, I'm trying to get you to... Okay. So is, is light particularly hurting your eyes right now? No, I just... I had a vision. Oh? Yes. <laughs> of course you did. 
Alrighty, um, look towards the window so that I can, I can check and see if your pupils are dilating properly. Oh. How, how's that? Does it hurt to look at the light right now? It always hurts to look at the light since the explosion. That's okay. Um, all right. Well, I my personal recommendation would be for you to see an actual doctor, but uh, let me have a look in the mirror. Are you in there? Sorry. We did it. Oh. Thank you, Saffron. Oh, I... I think... I think I might have just had my greatest... Greatest idea yet. Really? After falling off the ladder? Yes. <laughs> yes, sometimes... Sometimes these things are sent. Challenge our brains. The flux capacitor. I have to go. <laughs> you have to go. Oh, all right. Uh, well, your ho your horse is here. Uh, where are you? Marty? Aye. We brought. Aye, your horse. Oh, Marty. How? Marty? Yes, Marty's my horse. How did he get here? Uh, we rode him down here. You rode Marty down? Marty? Aye. Oh. Oh, okay. Aye, aye, aye. Uh... I kicked him aside, said, run for it, Marty, and, and he got right on. That's amazing. <laughs> I don't know anyone that's ever... Oh, there's still a snake here. Aye. Yes. The shape. <laughs> a triangle. Three points of entry, one point of exit. Yes. <laughs> Saffron, thank you. Your meeting has potentially changed the course of history and potentially the course of time. Of time? Well, I'm afraid yes, I'm I can't. not quite sure what you're talking about there, but... Uh... No, no. Don't Listen, don't worry about it. This, um... Everything we've talked about since I took you up that tower didn't happen, okay? Please. For your safety. No. Whoa. And for mine. Uh, howdy. How is everyone's day so far? Oh, it's, uh, it's great. How are you? Well, oh, doing very good. Doing very good. Just, uh, did you my just... God. <coughs> not, why are you throwing such a large snake at this moment? I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to throw that at you. I, um, I was hoping to drop it. Marty! Marty! Uh, he's, he's right there. Calm down, Marty. This is not the time for this. <laughs> Listen. Indeed. Shh. Well, uh, we're going to be going to and fro doing a few, uh, runs to your darling. Just, uh, don't mind the Passing of all oh, these different wagons coming through. Oh, I'll try and your way. <laughs> oh no, no worries, no worries. Um, what is your name? Oh, oh, oh! Oh, dear. oh my God! Gentlemen, it's getting hit. What happened? Why? Who was he shooting at, and why was he shooting? What? What? I'm so confused. It might have been because his horse was decoupled from him, and he jumped on it, and the NPC decided he stole his own horse. <laughs> it's just the stupid NPCs being stupid NPCs. It's the best I can. That's oh, alright. Yeah, he's funny. You guys said that you know who he was? Something about bananas. Uh, what happened? Sam, are you okay? Are, are you okay? Yes, listen, I told you, you cannot print anything. I don't think that it's safe. If people uh, hear what I've just discovered, then, like I said, you may, you may affect the whole course of history. Oh, that's all right. I don't need to go and uh, say anything about what you just just learned, you know? Like I said, uh, we should talk more. Uh, we should, uh, yes. I should see some of your experiments or something like that. And uh, hi, we might be able to do something nice in the paper, eh? Yes, yes, absolutely. Listen, I'm um, I'm still operating on, on 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 British hours to try and acclimatize myself to a new way of thinking. But I may not need to do that for long if um 
if what I just calculated is correct. Anyway, you can contact me on the, t the telegram. MF691, that's McFly691. We'll arrange think, a meeting. Oh, I think you've got my telegram and everything. I'll, yes. I'll send you yes. one, so... Okay. Of course. Sounds good. Okay, thank you so much for your help, Saffron, and, um... Oh, I must get back to the lab. All right, we'll take care, and uh, don't don't fall and hit your head again, eh? I'll try not to, but if it's if it's going to lead to such fantastic discoveries, I may have to do it again. I I, I don't think that's a recommended way <laughs> of uh, gaining new insights. Just, well, uh, word see, as a scientist, maybe it is. Maybe I have to try it a couple more times just to rule it out. I'm pretty sure other scientists have said hen head injuries are not a good thing. Einstein discovered gravity when an apple fell on his head. Uh, I don't Touché! Think... Uh, wasn't that Edison? Einstein discovered gravity when an apple fell on his head. Oh, okay. An apple versus a 20 foot drop. Yeah. I think that's the difference between inspiration and, uh, well, it certainly wasn't Einstein. As uh, Einstein, what, was he, like, just born right now? Newton, 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 that's it. That's it, not Edison. Yeah. Sorry? What was that? Sorry, apologies. As a scientist, I feel the need to correct myself. Earlier, I said that Einstein discovered I, gravity I, by... I didn't count who Einstein is. Yes, Did well... Did you mean Newton? I meant Newton, yes. Einstein is a new up-and-coming scientist. Be on the lookout for his work. He's better than me. Oh, right. I'll uh, keep that in mind. I don't think he was wildly known at this time. Yeah, that's... I, I couldn't remember exactly how old he was. Because I don't think he was alive until... I mean, he was alive for quite some time. He's currently teething. Is he really that young? 